Never been the way. Hey, are you Leon's wife? Yes, Kyra. How can I help? At the VNC Tower, I was on a mission, and I met your husband. I came here because it... No. Hush. Hush. Look, I wanted you to... Please don't say anything. I know you're the pilgrim. I'm so sorry. He was a great man. He wanted me to give you this letter. Thank you. So this must be how the story of Squad 404 ends. Squad 404? Haven't you heard of them? They were legendary. They were the ones who helped get Frank out of the VNC Tower. They were the ones who defended the Missy when the infected got inside. They were role models for every PK. And at this point, we should honor their memory. How do you know Squad 404 so well? I was their radio operator. I heard the last blows they got. And their last words. I can still hear them. In my dreams. But that's a good thing, you know? Because we mustn't forget them. And this place. The PK should honor their memory here, just like they did with the others who fell. Yeah, I know what you mean. To remember. It's our duty. Pilgrim. May I ask something of you? Will you help me collect them? Collect all the dog tags of Squad 404? I'll see what I can do. Thank you. You already met some of them. Fitzbowski, Chris, and Lieutenant Rowe in the VNC Tower. I already got the dog tags from the men in the VNC Tower. As for the rest of the squad, here are the action reports. You already know what to do. I'm sure the brothers and sister would like to be reunited.
Kyra, I'm in this radio station. Any tips on where to look for the bodies? I'm sorry. It was so terrible I brushed it out of my memory. One moment. There. It's the last thing I was able to record. <laughs> Renegade rats could have been capable of pushing you in here.
You almost got away. Almost. Just point them in the right direction. Hey, Aiden. Got a moment? Save me. Hey, Kyra. So, have you found any dog tags yet? I have Roscoe's and Adam's dog tags. This is a little something for you. Do you have the other dog tags? From what I heard, Roscoe was Sierra's actual brother, right? Yes. They were inseparable. After Sierra died, Roscoe became... hot-headed. He'd take on the most difficult tasks, as if he was provoking death. The day I had to tell their mother that he was gone too. That was one of the hardest days of my life. I'm still looking. 